Good morning, folks. Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio rocking again, just having fun going through the SDO wavelengths. The link to this video is below and the SDO webpage is linked for you every day. November Global Climate Report is out. Russia scorched and helped make this past month the warmest on record. Problem is that parts of the US were chilly. Spain was very cold as well. Australia was warm in November generally, but with Antarctic sea ice breaking record after record still. That's even with some above average temperatures at their coastline. When you look at Russia, you can see how much it threw the global average last month. Many areas indeed were below average. Precipitation was much more sporadically extreme. Now while we live in climate extremes we've described for 18 months, let me show you how they twist the data to serve only half, their global warming agenda. They say we haven't seen a below average month for temperature in a long time, even longer looking only at November's. They want you to gasp at how long we've been too hot. But these are all based on averages back to 1880 when most of those years were much, much cooler. Let's say you were to restrict the time frame to their alleged top decades of alleged global warming. You wouldn't even need to go back to 2012 to find a below average month. It's that easy to make the data say whatever they want. And I hope you all caught the IPCC's version of this described in a video I favorited last night. If anybody knows Corbett, tell him to shoot a message my way. You sad, bro? <laughs> yeah, I bet. Faked a CIA job to get out of doing his EPA work for years. Got peers to approve his frauds rather than supervisors. And gives us another reason to wag a finger at the regulatory body. NASA's Earth Observatory giving terrific shots of Japan's new volcanic island, linked below. And this is outstanding. Light echoes as concentricity as the star has a 16-minute light pulse phase that you can actually see as rings in the surrounding dust. We have two cyclones in the Indian Ocean. Let's go to the new wind map to see that the form is well defined, but there's not major power associated with the storms. They are indeed heading for Madagascar, though, with chances to strengthen. This area has been on target for storm development per predictions, but starting around the last week of this month, Formation Zone will invade Northern Australia. Take note of that now. Hard skip to beat this morning when I saw the accumulation changes here. No reports of major events yet, but floods and landslides are definitely possible. Let's come out to the flat 850 view. If you look at the low off the Japanese coastline, Look just north of that and see where Arctic air is leaving the top circle and diving down over the U.S. right now. It's another counterpoint to the North Atlantic and Euro heat slipping up into the Arctic, possibly affecting ice coverage, which itself was a counterpoint to the record cold and snow from Jerusalem to Cairo. Back and forth with climate extremes. Anyway, the convergence there is one of the strongest on Earth and will affect the region again today. Azerbaijan reporting eruption in a mud volcano zone, but they also state they need to update the findings to be sure. A solar wind telemetry missing from last night, no major auroras reported so we know that the same trending downwards calm continued through the downtime. There is no geomagnetic instability. Solar flaring, missing data as well but appears to all be back. The only major surface feature of the day was the big filament eruption threat down south eaten by the new sunspots. And as for those spots, departing groups, you're dead to me. We currently have no delta spots in that middle grower, but the potential for mixing is quite good. Also keep eyes on the incomers on the limb. Major, major power to the coronal holes. Not exactly earth facing though, and the fields are blocking. Despite minor factors present, the top cause we raised the watch again last night was pressure build. Earth is constantly building pressure, averages three six magnitude quakes per week to release, but hasn't released one all of December. 38 minutes after we raised the watch in the evening news, a 6.2 hits the West Pacific at Mariana. Also got Greenland upticks as well, always worth a watch. We got the northern filament, southern sunspots, and a watch score of 7. Eyes open, no fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.